construct the truth table for the statement not p and not q. Notice what we have here in this truth table. There are two initial columns, p and q, because as we look through the compound statement we're given, there are only two individual statements, p and q. For those two statements, there are four possible combinations of true and false. We could have p being true, q being true, p being true, q being false, p being false, q being true, and then both of them being false in the last row. So all this truth table does is it accounts for all the different possible combinations of true and false for p and q, all the different possibilities. To build this truth table for this final statement, what we do is build a column for each piece building up to the final statement. So if we have not p and not q, we need three new columns to fill in. And in each column, we're just going to do one operation. So first we approach not p, we fill in that column, then we'll handle not q, and then we'll combine those two columns with the and operation. So for not p, all I have to do is look at the p column and apply the negation. So remember the negation switches trues to falses and falses to trues. It just flips the truth value. So this would look like false because the first entry is true, then false again, and then true, and then true. For not q, we do the same thing except now we look at the q column and negate each of those. So the true in the first row would become false, the false becomes true, true becomes false, false becomes true. Then we use the AND operation to tie together these two columns. And remember the AND operation is true when both of them are true and false otherwise. So one of them being false is enough to make one AND the other be false. Therefore the first entry is going to be false because they're both false. The second one's also false because not p is false. The third is false because not q in that case is false. And the last one is the only one that's true. So now we have a truth table for this statement. We have that column for the final compound statement. And this process will work even with more complicated compound statements as long as we approach it systematically building a new column for each new operation we need to include.